73 yards. Okay, this is Doctor Who. Um, I guess the good news is, is that this isn't completely cringe, um, but it's not very good. It's very lazy. Um, this is a very lazy story. Let's talk about it using my space system. So story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment, each category gets a score between zero and two, two being the best you can get in any category. Um, I created the, my thumbnail saying 73 yards sucks. And uh, I created that before watching the show. And about 10, 15 minutes in, I thought, oh, I might have to change my thumbnail. I might have to change this because this is kind of neat. They land on this planet. Everything looks really nice on this coastline on the on the on the cliff there. They they step on the doctor and Ruby step on this little uh, witchcraft thingy, break the spell. This weird woman is there. The doctor goes missing. All of a sudden, he just vanishes. Um, then this this creepy lady, old lady with scraggly hair and doing these weird motions, is always seventy three yards away from Ruby, and no matter where she goes. She, the woman's always there and I was thinking oh yeah like this is like pretty cool like yeah this is awesome uh, it reminded me a bit of It Follows which I thought was really good and it was very creepy I thought this is good she goes to the small town and then the, the woman is still there and anyone that approaches the woman get, goes crazy and runs away I thought well this is really neat and then as it went on it's like they're not going to really explain what's happening are they and then when they kind of show at the end I guess I won't spoil it the ending, I, I immediately thought, well, I bet you it's just this, and it was, and it's just so lazy. So I'm going to give the storyline a 0.5 out of 2. I'm not going to give it a 0. I'll give it a 0.5. It, it started off neat. It's a neat concept, but they did, he, like, RTD did literally nothing with it. I can't believe it. Um, it's just, it was just so lazy. I thought of, like, seven or eight different ways that they can conclude, conclude this. It ends up turning into the dead zone where there's this bad guy politician who's going to do bad things because he's just bad and he's a baddie and bad and politicians are bad, I guess. It's like nonsense. It's so nonsense. First 10, 15 minutes, though, or let's say first 15, I don't know. what I didn't look at the timer. First 15 minutes, I was like, oh, yeah, this is pretty good. But unfortunately, the pacing is also going to get a 0 0.5. Because right after that really intense kind of scary situation that's been set up, it gets boring really quick because you start to realize you're like, yeah, I, I, I just got this radar sensor. Like this isn't going to lead to anything. And it didn't. Um, so, I, I mean, I wasn't like bored out of my mind or anything. Like I'm not giving it a zero for the pacing, but it's just like, like nothing was going on. It's like, Ruby's having all these relationships with the guys and stuff and it's not working out because she keeps seeing this 73 yard away thing. Um, Kate Stewart, uh, Kate Fletch Lethbridge Stewart shows up. She's cool. That scene was neat because she's like, okay, we're going to talk to this thing. Blah, blah, blah. And they never say, they never really explain it properly. So um, anyway, artistry, I'm going to give it a one. Um, I mean, look, you know, look good, especially in the beginning. I like that small town. I really like that cliffside, nice shots there. Music's like, okay. Um, everything was fine. I, they, they kind of, they went slowly into the future as Millie, uh, aged. They didn't age her too, like they switched actors at one point to where, where she got too old, they switched actors. I thought they would do the old age makeup, but they didn't, they didn't do that. But, um, yeah, like, I mean, it looks fine. So you know, I can't, can't really fault it. The characters, I was toying with this. Um, the doctor's not in this episode. So already we're in a positive. <laughs> he doesn't cry. Uh, he doesn't run away. They just, they just eliminated him. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, well, at least he's not in this. So there's that. Um, I, I, you know, I like Ruby. I felt, I did feel for her. I'll give it a one. I'll give it a one for the characters. Um, she was okay. I felt bad for her when her mom abandoned her and when Kate, you know, didn't do it. I think she she performed well. Um, so I got nothing against her. Uh, Millie Gibson was fine in this. It was mostly just about her. Uh, I did like her and I liked Kate a lot. Uh, I thought the creepy old lady thing was kind of neat too. Um, even with the doctor missing, I still really can't give it more than one point because um, I kind of didn't like anyone else. Like I, the, the, there's the townspeople that are just being goofs for just to be goofs. They did this thing with the phone where she's like, oh, I'll pay with my phone. They're like, what's that? As though they don't know what it is. 
and they're like making fun of her like okay well you see that she's scared and like she's cold and you're just going to be dicks to her like really that's just bad i don't is that is i don't know if that was rtd's experience in wales and everyone's an ass or something i, I have no idea so uh but enjoyment factor i'll give it a 0.5 i guess like you know we're getting to the point here where last week's episode was episode which i actually thought was decent um, I gave it much higher than I should have. I, gave, I think I gave it like a seven, which I did get pushback on. And I agree with the pushback. I, that was way too high for that episode. It should have been like a five, um, maybe a six. You know, um, I think because I look for the positives in Doctor Who, you're going to get more positive from me. Uh, so I'm giving this a 3.5 out of 10. Um and I know that that's obviously a bad score, but I'm trying to be realistic. And um, even with my positive outlook on Doctor Who, where I want to like every episode, I go in wanting to like it. I go in wanting to get something cool out of it. Um, I'm going to be a bit more positive. So realistically, this might even be worse than 3.5 out of 10. To depend, you know, I don't know how other movie reviewers or YouTube reviewers do their systems, how they come up with their... Uh, thing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just sit here and say it's it's zero trash. You know, garbage. Give it a zero. Like that doesn't help anybody. I'm trying to give you a, an explanation why um, uh, why I'm I'm giving it the way I, I'm giving it. Um, if you watch to the end of this video and you disagree with me, if you think this is awesome, write Supergirl um, in your comments because I want to see if you watched all my points because I think I did make a lot of good points on this one. So 3.5 out of 10. Neat concept. Uh, the first opening act, let's say if we're dividing this into, you know, three acts or whatever, pretty good. I thought, you know what, maybe this is going to change my mind here on, on this one. Um, unfortunately, it really didn't go anywhere. It's a bit sad because it was a neat idea. And I think a lot more could have been done with this idea. Um, I just think that people have just given up really at this point. Um, they're making Doctor Who to make it. Uh, I don't even know if they're even making it to 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 do a political statement. There was politics in this again, which is just, but the guy's just like a guy. Um, I don't even know why they're even bothering. Like if you don't even care to, to come up with anything, then don't even bother doing the show. Um, and if you're gonna use it for propaganda, then, you know, then I guess you can be happy with losing 400,000 viewers every episode as you go. And this one will just drop even lower. So anyway. Um, that's it everybody thanks so much for watching if you like my system please like the video and subscribe to the channel i'm trying to be a fair guy um, but this one did suck unfortunately so there you go um, that's it thanks for watching until next time